I am standing here to speak to you, but you must know that I am standing on the shoulders of a lot, a lot of people to whom I am very, very grateful. When tragedy strikes, and let's face it, it's gonna strike all of us. If you can find a mission larger than yourself, it can not only help you heal, but you can do spectacular, spectacular things in the world. On September 11th, my 36-year-old brother Gary, who I'd raised as my child when our parents died young, was murdered, along with 657 of his friends and colleagues at Cantor Fitzgerald, where my one surviving brother Howard is the CEO and the chairman. When Howard said to me two days later, Edie, I want you to start a charity to help take care of the victims' families, I had no idea how profoundly my life was about to change. Thousands and thousands of heartbroken people became my family. And they, in turn, started hundreds of philanthropic organizations, not to take care of the 9-11 families, but to take care of all of you. Oh, I never do this, wait, okay. So I wrote a book called An Unbroken Bond. And it tells my story and it tells the story of the families and the story of Cantor Fitzgerald, but it tells so much more than that. It's about how we behaved, how we behaved as individuals, how we behaved as friends, as colleagues, as companies, as societies, as religions, and as governments and politicians. When you, we as Jews understand the importance of remembering. We understand because it's central to who we are. We know that you forget at your peril. When you fight for something, and we faced unfathomable obstacles after 9-11, you don't always win, even when you're pure of heart. But you continue to fight because it matters. Our unbroken bond is to those we loved, to learn something from their loss as we move forward together with our shared humanity intact. So I have a pearl, and my pearl to you is a couple of things. Well, before I start my pearl, uh, let me just say that the key is education. And so when you hear a story and you learn a story and you tell a story, you can help change the world. My wish, if I could have just one wish, is that you pick the name of a 9-11 victim and you learn something about that person. It could be my brother Gary or anybody else, and you do an act of kindness in their name. And person by person, we can start to change the world. So my pearl to you is this. Life is precious. And time is assured to no one. You may not have control over the cards that are dealt to you, but you do have control over how you respond to them. When you see pain and you see suffering and you see injustice, you may genuinely believe that you are only one voice, but your voice matters. And if you raise that voice, if the pain and the suffering and the injustice you see causes anger and you channel that anger, you can become an agent of change. And you may just find a core of strength within yourself that you never ever knew existed. And you can choose. You can choose a better life for yourself, for the stranger, for your family, for your community, and for the world. You can choose happiness. Thank you.